Hi guys, welcome on my YouTube channel. I have prepared some videos for you today and this is going to be lip art print, something which is really fashion this summer and the spring, so make sure you learn those designs as well so you can do it for your clients. Uh, we're going to use some beautiful rose gold foil and um, the foil design gel which uh, I will use to uh, for the black pattern and maybe some rose gold beads or crystals um, I think that will go really well with the animal prints so I have prepped my tip into the coffin shape which is very fashion at the moment and now I'm going to paint one layer of the pastel pink into it so I can later on apply the foil so I'm just applying Thin layer of the color, cure it in 30 seconds, an LED light. The color I have used is red velvet cake. That's from Neonios. Then we're going to use some rose gold foil. You can get it from my website uh, or you can just message me. So I have cut a small piece and I'm going to squeeze in between my fingers because I want kind of irregular patchy look like we have achieved in here so my tip is cure it's best to choose kind of pinky or nude base just so it looks better and now just in messy way i'm applying those foil there we are you don't want the design to be fully covered with it you want those kind of old gold look. And then once you're happy with it, you can start painting the animal print. For animal print, I'm going to use some kind of nude colors and the black gel. So I take my brush, which is Micro Styler number 40, and I will do a few patches. What I want to do is I want to mix it to my nude color with a tiny bit of white. And then just start painting those three patches. It is better if you don't make them too regular, like try each of them slightly different. And then you have to flash cure it so we can outline it with the black. I clean my brush and I can pick up the black. Uh, the best way to do it, the animal print, is to do it in three goals. So you can kind of imagine you're doing three dots and one of them is longer and the other one is shorter. So like dot, 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 and then you just have to prolong it a little bit from each side. And uh, also add some print on the places where you have uh, didn't put the color background. This way it looks more animal, natural look pattern. So I'm doing a few irregular dots, lines on the places where I don't have a color. So you can see how quick design it is. And it's definitely really, really fashion this season. 
lots of animal prints in the in the stores in the shops so the clients will be requesting it on the nails too and then you're just searching for any other empty places you would like to fill up so that will be the basic animal print design i'll have to cure it and then apply the top coat by adding those rose gold, I think we make it a little bit more um, different to the animal prints, which was in fashion a good few years ago, like in 2008, 2009, when I was starting my nail career. Um, it was more uh, animal prints on French square nails. Um, now everyone wants them on coffins with a tiny bit of the chromes, rose gold and uh, other blink. Another good way of uh, doing the animal print is once you have finished the design, what you could do is you could also add a tiny bit of the sparkle inside your pattern. Just a couple sparkle inside your pattern. And that's exchanged the design as well. I will show you how, I, uh, how you can create the more complicated one as well. Let's just top coat this one. So I can cure it. And I quite like the fact that we've got uh, two different, uh, that's on the white background, we've got the animal print and then the rose gold is outside. Uh, it makes it, it more stands out from the rest. So this tip is here, it can go to the animal print family. And I show you quickly another one. So I'll actually maybe make it a nude matte this time. So let's go for the classic queen. Yes, that would be nice. Again, those kind of colors are really popular in a minute. I have to cure it. And then um, for any white designs, I like to use my paint on French. Because it's a really nice consistency and it has a good coverage. So the animal prints don't need to be over too big and I will show you what else you could do it using those simple patterns. Then I will color it in. I want to leave the part of it empty here so we could later on put some crystals and make it even prettier. can see I have stabilized my hand so it doesn't shake. And then I just fill up the white. On the white it will more even stand out than on the nudes or rose gold. Perfect, I can cure it now. And I will also 
also outline the white with the black what I'm doing is just so it goes on quicker I'm just flash curing the product Brush is really good for fine lines. If you would like to get like a even finer lines, what I like to do is prep my brush. So I would take a product and roll my brush into a really nice point. And then the lines get extremely fine. Definitely very useful in the designs like um, where we have to clean the faces and do maybe eyelashes. So I have done the outline of the design and I can do a few patches. Actually, let's do it in a glitter. So rose gold glitter. You can see I'm just making it very irregular shapes. And now I have to cure it again. For my crystals, I like to use uh, a tiny bit of the blue tack on the end of my dotting tool, and then it is pretty easy for me to pick them up. So we will apply some sticky crystals into it as well. The same like we did in a previous one, we just go and do the print. So we can see how quickly we can do pretty interesting design for quick salon work. And clients will definitely love it. Um, it's not too complicated, but still pretty effective and definitely fashion. I can cure it. And then take my crystals. <coughs> I just got this rose gold Swarovski. It's so beautiful. I have to use my crystal holder <laughs> and that's my design cure so I'm going to apply the no white taupe and then put the crystals on top of it the dotting tool and some crystals so let's take a Big one in the middle, two smaller ones, and the tiny, no, no tiny one. I would just leave it the way it is. Yeah, I just like it with three. Then we have to cure it. So for clients, I would uh, 
apply the top coat on top of my design then i would buff the to uh, buff the buff it use the glue to secure my crystals and that's the glue what i'm using it's just for a quickness for the demo i stick them straight away on the top coat uh, but i don't feel that it is the the most uh, secure way to apply the crystals so the best way to apply them is once you have finished the design you buff it gently with the buffer apply the crystals with the glue and then apply the top coat around the crystals make sure you don't go over the crystals just uh, because they lose their sharpness and the shine uh, if you find it difficult to um, go around the crystals or there is too complicated design you can use a smaller brush to apply your top coat around them and then the rest just a normal regular brush and that's how the design finished you can see it was pretty quick simple uh, but very effective especially uh, for the spring and summer time when all the animal prints will take over i hope you have enjoyed watching this video and if you did please like and subscribe i just show you those tips again thanks for watching bye